What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to No Man's Sky. Moose Gaming here and uh, recently with the No Man's Sky Experimental Update Expedition 12 Omega, there's a few extra things that came out with the Expedition. And uh, from what I've seen, there's been a lot of posts about being able to claim these Dreadnought Traders. So I figure, you know what, let me go ahead, let me jump in here again, let me check it out. So we take out the engines first, and then take out these anti-freighter cannons. I figure if we take those out first, it can't leave and it'll be crippled. We might have to take out all the little other like, uh, missile launchers on the sides too. Normally, after I destroy these cannons, I would then go do the trench run to drop the shields. But we'll see what happens after we take down these cannons. Last cannon right here, and look at that. Up at the top, uh, it, the shields no longer show. It says, board to negotiate terms or destroy a large, for a large bounty. And look, there's a, there's a landing bay here. Well, they've actually had a landing bay. So uh, it looks like we can, in fact, claim these dreadnoughts as our own in the experimental version. Which means when this goes public, it will be in in the public version as well. That is freaking awesome. A nice crimson look up here. I kind of like that. I kind of dig the crimson look. Um standard room nothing really back here nothing special let's go talk to the captain here uh, pirate commander begs for mercy I name my price well, let me have your ship how's that it's a C class that's not too bad so I'm sure we could you could probably um, reload this this battle and maybe Get an A-class. Now, transferring bases. I know there's been issues with that in the past, so let's see how well this works. I didn't have much on my freighter base to begin with. So far, the hallway. Okay. Alright. Alright. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Looks exactly like what uh, what my base looked like. <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> like I said, uh, I, don't, I don't play on the Steam version of No Man's Sky a whole lot, but... I do play on it, like, when there's experimental updates and stuff like that. So I can kind of see what's going to be coming into the game. Let's go check out the landing bay here. It's really, you know, there's not a whole lot of difference in the landing bay. The cranes, they're still there. The coloring is different. You got that crimson look, like I said. Let's check out customizations. Can we... It's managed fleet. Can we do customizations? Customize appearance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We could choose colors. Um, I don't have enough nanites to purchase any of the colors right now, but that's definitely something to look into. What colors will actually change on this thing? The flight deck, the underbody, um, the sides. All right. Let's see the engines. Okay. We can can choose and just go with crimson for sure uh, everything's blown up on it but i'm sure if we resummon it everything will be fixed again so but this is actually really cool i'm sure a lot of people within the no man's sky universe are really going to enjoy uh this ability to be able to claim the dreadnought traders i know i am so there you go thank you and uh hit that like and subscribe peace